So good morning from Mobile World Congress. I'm Jamie Davis from telecoms.com and I'm here with Kiki from Mastercard. How are you? Nice to meet you. So today we're going to be talking all about the world of IoT. Now, Mastercard, mobile payments, that's fine. Talk us about the role of Mastercard in the world of IoT. Consumers are more connected than ever. I mean, the average consumer household has about four connected devices in their house. In North America, that number goes up to 13 devices uh, okay. in any connected home. That presents significant opportunity for us to deliver on a commerce tool for the consumer and new experiences that the consumers can enjoy directly from their home, from their, uh, from their car, or anywhere where the consumers want to interact. Especially with the emergence of the digital economy and the sort of the connected consumer, is a new interface which is starting to really take prominence in the industry. I mean, voice more than anything else. So, I mean, how are you guys interacting with the consumer on, on the level of voice? So conversational commerce, as you alluded to, um, uh, pertains to the use of chat and messaging platforms, as well as natural language interfaces yes. to, to be able to converse and drive an action from, uh, from any particular service. So there's a servicing component that we have seen emerge in, in the bot environment. So consumers or brands traditionally starting to engage consumers for customer support. That has now shifted to incorporate shopping. So I want to be able to ask an Amazon Echo via Alexa for new items that I need to replenish in my home yeah, of course. or for me to be able to converse directly in my car in a connected car environment so I can order ahead or I can actually pay for parking or pay for fuel directly from, from the confines of my car. So there's a lot of new interfaces, particularly in the world of IoT, that will, where voice will actually play a significant role. And what we're doing is that we want to make sure that we have significant security across this new set of IoTs so that we can deliver on the experience without compromising on the, on the consumer's uh, expectation and their promise of MasterCard. I mean, that's, I mean, there's two things you brought up there which I just want to follow up with. And the first one, I think probably one of the, one of the biggest buzzwords in tech full stop security. Yeah. I mean, how are you guys actually telling the consumer and sort of reinforcing the, the consumer's confidence in these sort of more engaging and open platforms? So at MasterCard, what we have done is we have delivered on a multiple layers of security approach. We built a foundation um, originally for mobile payments. Um, so what we did is that using uh, tokenization technology combined with EMV level cryptography and IDMV verification from an issuer, consumers can actually rest easy that their credentials are being handled in the best, yes. in, the, in the best, in the most secure manner. Um, directly by their issuer. We've also, um, we've also deployed our MasterPass digital wallet solution, which can actually be adapted across this new set of, uh, of interfaces, whether those are bots within a messaging platform, yep. or if they include even an AR and VR environment. We want to deliver across a number of different experiences in the best possible way. And that actually sort of led me back to the other points I had, bots. I mean, there was a lot of excitement about them a couple of, uh, well, what was it, about three or four months ago when Facebook launched there, a couple of bots for everyone to test out. But, I mean, from personal experience, they're a little bit spammy at the moment. I mean, I mean what, what's your view on how they're, how they're developing and, you know, how, how far away they are from the reality? Yeah, we, we believe that bots will be the next uh, apps. Okay. So, <laughs> bots, Bots will certainly have a role. Uh, they will become a next, uh, another channel for the consumers to engage. And it, it does not mean that it will replace the traditional messaging application. I mean, so consumers can still expect their mobile app to still, their mobile banking app, for yeah. example, to yeah. still exist. But they now have a new way of interacting with, with their favorite brands. I mean, whether those are issuers or merchant alike, they should be able, consumers should be able to have a choice in how they're interacting with their, um, with their brands. And that can actually help drive additional loyalty for the, for the brand. It can help drive even incremental sales. So we know from IDC Retail Insights yep. that consumers that are engaging across different channels traditionally spend between 15 and 35% more, or, or they have a higher okay. tick average ticket than the traditional consumer. So the more that, uh, the more uh, a brand is actually participating in an omni-channel experience, the more they'll able to retain this consumer for, uh, for, their, for, their, for their lifetime. I suppose it's completely removing the idea of sort of nine to five. I mean, the digital yeah. economy, it's 24 seven. You, you're constantly touching and talking with the consumer and you know, as bots become more intelligent, right. AI starts taking place and it, 
you, you completely evolved on the journey. I mean, is AI playing a particular role in Absolutely. what you're looking at at the moment? Connectivity within the, within this context, being connected 24-7, has actually forced brands to have an answer for the consumers and to provide yes. customer support at any given time, anywhere. So that's where bots can actually play a role. It's not just in the customer servicing, but it's also on the consumer shopping. So now you can deliver a service and you can actually upsell or, or provide an offer to the consumer anytime while you're actually engaging with a consumer. So that is the type of personal experience that the consumers will expect within, within a bot environment. Yeah. Well, certainly something to look forward to. So yeah. thanks for taking a couple of minutes with me. Thank you so much.